Thank you. Um, more than 3 million European citizens in the UK were told by Boris Johnson and Michael Gove that nothing would change. They would get automatic right to remain and they would treat it no less favourable than before Brexit. They heard our colleague Daniel Hannan, who's not here today, saying that it is irresponsible to scare EU nationals in the UK by hinting that their status might change after breakfast. And we even heard from Nigel Farage saying that they could stay and enjoy the same rights as UK citizens because he said to row back on that would class you as a banana republic. Yet, here we are today. Automatic rights and favourable, favourable treatment have quickly transformed into talk of deportations and hostile environment. The British government seems to have learned absolutely nothing from the Windrush scandal and a system is put in place that will probably never reach all the citizens that need it and by its design puts many vulnerable citizens at risk of losing, lights, losing rights. And the consequence is uncertainty and anxiety for EU citizens in the UK because regardless of Mr Van Orden's semantic point before, many people have already experienced loss of their rights. And if the UK wants to become a banana republic, of course, it's its choice after Brexit. But those three million citizens in the UK are our responsibility now. And we need to stand up for them and make sure that they will not be the biggest victims of this Brexit. This has been the Parliament's consistent position ever since the referendum. And it is now the time to make crystal clear how serious we are about that. Thank you.